Aaron, let's go. Let's get to this forecast and uh, try to give you something you're not hearing everywhere else, folks. Uh, the details, which do involve some showers, perhaps some heavier ones overnight tonight and in through uh, Thursday morning. Right now, nothing going on outside. You've been hearing a lot about cool weather, windy weather, rainy weather. Well, where is it? It's not here yet, but it's coming in overnight tonight. Let's go straight to those temperatures. Readings running in the mid to upper 50s, even some lower 50s. Check this out, Ionia at 50, 51 Battle Creek. You go over to Kalamazoo, it's 55. I do have to say there is rain on going in Battle Creek, so rain cooled air there. Kalamazoo, maybe some sprinkles at this point. South Haven to Holland and Muskegon running in the mid to upper 50s. Those winds have been breezy. Yeah, you go outside here at Fox 17 on the north side of Grand Rapids. You can feel those breezes around 15 miles per hour right along the lakeshore, gusting between 20 to 30. Muskegon has had some gusts to around 40 plus this past afternoon. Now let's go to that day planner for tomorrow. You're getting going 7 a.m. What are you seeing outside? Well, you're seeing darkness because the sunrise waits until 731. 47 degrees. That's pretty chilly. Get your coat out, folks. Rain likely and I think still rain likely at midday. The rainiest stretch is going to be in the morning. The most persistent rains. The afternoon still has some scattered showers or spotty showers, but becoming more broken in the pattern on the radar at that point. Even some drier periods, perhaps by this uh, time of day that will allow the mercury to creep its way to 54 degrees by day's end. Here's this area of low pressure, the surface low, the upper level low with the system is a little bit further westward over northern Indiana, right along the line of Indiana and Ohio, and that's moving into southern Michigan at this point. So the best dynamics with this system, and when you hear that word dynamics, really referring to upward motion in the atmosphere, creating clouds and precipitation, that now working into central lower Michigan and uh, working off to the west, an odd direction, as I've been talking about for a couple days, but the moisture backpedaling towards us as we speak, and it'll be arriving into Grand Rapids, I say, by, oh, maybe 1, 2, maybe as late as 3 in the morning, but probably more like 1 or 2, and then going to the west to the lakeshore there after. So rainy, chilly, and windy on Thursday. Again, the most persistent rains in the morning, more of a showery pattern in the afternoon, but still wet and damp and just a raw, crummy day. Let's just call it what it is for Thursday. Thursday much better on Friday sunshine returning. We're back to around 70. A uh, couple showers later at night though into early Saturday morning. Pretty good timing though. They're out of here. The weekend dry. Warmer temps early next week. Here's that temperature trend board. 56 I had on there. Dropped that though to 54. So I don't even think we make it to 56 tomorrow. Do get to 71 Friday. Back down to 64 Saturday. And then this is the stretch of weather that will be very nice as we do climb into the lower to mid 70s. The highs tomorrow projected. I mean very similar to where we're at right now with the current temperatures late on this uh, Wednesday evening. Look at the Lake Michigan forecast for tomorrow. Waves at five to seven feet. We've got north winds at 30 to 35 gusting higher at times. And now I want to go quickly to this future track model, which is picking up on the moisture across southern Michigan, starting to increase in coverage and intensity. Look at those colors. The yellows and the orange is starting to work off to the west coming into Grand Rapids. This on the time code at three o'clock, so starting to come down pretty good even through the morning. Very wet out and about and particularly along the lakeshore. If the model is right, I think it's got a good handle on things and then the coverage becomes a little bit more broken in the afternoon, but still out there nonetheless with these clouds and with the rain showers from time to time. Temperatures going nowhere. Janice and Aaron highs lower half of the 50s, but there's the clearing overnight Thursday into Friday leading into a very Nice day on Friday back to around 70. Here's your rainfall projection around an inch plus, I think, between now and Saturday morning. Keep in mind, a few showers early on Saturday morning, late Friday night, early Saturday with the passage of a cold front. We go from 71 Friday to 64 Saturday, but great weather shaping up for early next week. Anthony, thank you. President